Hey, 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 did you hear? Did you hear about that? Man, for those who haven't heard just yet, the fight of the century is about to go down. Or at least the fight of the year. Logan Paul, YouTuber turned MMA fighter, and Floyd Mayweather, established boxing king, are going toe-to-toe -to -toe on June 6th of 2021. People have some pretty widely varied opinions on how this is gonna go down, but boxing legend Mike Tyson is sure he knows how things are gonna go down. If anyone has an opinion we can trust on this one, it isn't a bunch of fans on Twitter. I'ma just say that right now. It's gotta be one of the best who ever did it, right? Mike, Iron Mike Tyson. Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather are both people who could take on your average Joe on the street and probably do some damage. But that doesn't mean it translates to the ring for both of them. Now, let's get into the bios of the people involved in the fight. We gotta start with Floyd Mayweather on this one. Sure, the first thing people are gonna point out is that Floyd is retired. He boxed from 96 to 15, really consistently. But he came out in 2017 for a match after his retirement had started. That was a special occasion, like this one is. Since he's mostly been doing promotion work since then, he's been described as one of the best defensive boxers in the history of the sport, which is pretty, is, is, is kind of a big deal. If Logan Paul thinks he's anywhere near experienced enough to deal with that, he might be in for a rude awakening. Other than the official match in 2017, Mayweather also got into an exhibition bout in 2017 against Tenshin Nasukawa, resulting in a first round TKO. Mayweather dropped Nasukawa real quick. With all of this to say, people who think that Logan Paul have a chance have a few specific facts that they cite. First of all, Logan's got more than a couple inches on Floyd height-wise. Floyd Mayweather is five foot eight. Not only that, but as a result, Paul is heavier. They'd be in completely different weight classes if this was a more official kind of event. While these physical differences could mean a lot, they might end up meaning jack squat. Nothing at all. Zip, zilch, nada. Not a thing especially since the match is going to consist of seasoned professional and someone who basically just jumped into the sport relatively recently. There's not really a great indication on how Logan's about to stack up since he's only really fought people who aren't boxers or MMA guys or anything like that. But, you know, only time is gonna tell. With these types of high profile matches becoming more common, it's really not a shock to see this happening. The fight that Mayweather was in in 2017 with Conor McGregor, another MMA fighter, also of note is the fact that when the next fight happens in June, Chad Johnson, also called Chad Ocho Cinco back in the day because his jersey number was 85, is going to be on the card for the same date. It's likely that he'll be fighting some other celebrity or boxer. If Logan Paul doesn't go down this time, we'll probably see him taking on others. Ooh. Since we've gotten into a lot of Mayweather's history and explained how he stacks up, let's go ahead and get right into how Logan's established himself since taking a dive into the boxing world. The obvious guess here is that Logan's gonna get rocked. <laughs> That's not just because we're being tough on the new kid. Logan's only had two actual fights since starting. Both fights have been against another YouTuber, KSI. KSI and Logan ended their match in a draw, and during the second fight, Logan lost to KSI. Now, at least Logan managed to make it to round six in this fight, which means he's got some stamina. But this is still just a fight between two YouTubers. Not only that, but he's basically <laughs> nothing compared to his brother, who has knocked out dudes like four times on his record. The fact that he's gone two and one isn't really the best look. While one of the matches was just an exhibition and the other one was an official match, either way, it's looking rough for the dude. Now, Mike Tyson enters the picture. While a few fans, or haters, might be curious to see a fight between Mike and either of the Paul brothers, he shut down any of those rumors quick, saying that he'd never get involved in a fight with either of them. he for sure make a good bag off of it, but it seems like he's not about to lower himself like that. Good job, Mike. Tyson has also said that he doesn't hate either of the Paul brothers. In fact, he said he's a fan. No, nah, no, nah, I like those guys. No, no, I love those guys. 
Might have just been a humble brag, though, since it was just in reply to being asked if he'd ever fight him, right? I mean, it kind of seems like he's saying he wouldn't ever wish the unholy beating he'd deliver on them, truly. The issue is that he's not very confident in either of them. He thinks Mayweather's about to lay Logan out, and if Jake thinks he's bad enough to take Floyd down, he's in for a rude awakening. Specifically, when asked if he thinks Jake can win, he said, no, he's going to get beat up pretty bad. <laughs> Such a bad impression. There was also a little bit of an incident a while back where Jake and Floyd got into a scuffle. The two of them were at an event in Miami, and Jake thought he'd pull a little prank, you know. After the two of them were captured on camera picking on each other, getting in one another's face, Jake grabbed the hat off Floyd's head, shouting, got your hat, before running off. Floyd eventually caught up and started throwing punches, but he was quickly swarmed by security and other people at the event. Unfortunately for Jake, security didn't get there quickly enough to avoid Mayweather giving him a black eye and bruising him up pretty bad. <laughs> After that, Floyd Mayweather was seen being held back by bodyguards, screaming obscenities in Jake Paul's general direction, saying, I'm gonna kill that mother It's not very likely that the way things are gonna go, but if there's a fight in the future, uh, we'll see, I guess. If we ever do see Jake in the ring with Mayweather, the amount of bad blood that already exists between the two means that both of them are gonna be aggro and out for the win. We can also go ahead and say that if Jake got messed up this bad in just a little scrap where they were surrounded by tons of bystanders and security, things are gonna be completely different when they get in the ring together for a maximum of 12 rounds. Boxing matches almost never go that long, but the fact that Mayweather could just whoop up on him for that long is more than a little nerve-wracking, truly. I mean, it's true that when Jake and Mayweather threw hands, they weren't rules or refs or anything like that. It was all just this street scrap. So who knows how things are actually gonna go down in the ring, right? There's the idea of puncher's chance, which comes into play in the hypothetical Jake Paul versus Floyd Mayweather fight that may or may not happen, but even that's unlikely. The puncher's chance theory basically says that anyone who's actually able to knock anyone out in the first place could win a match, so long as they're quick and mad enough. The thing about Jake, though, is he might not need that. So far, he's had a much better luck than his brother when it comes to his fighting endeavors. While Logan's had a draw and a loss against KSI, Jake is 2-0 when it comes to actual professional matches. I mean, come on. It comes nowhere near Floyd Mayweather's 50 and old record, but it gives him a case for claiming he has potential. When Logan Paul fought KSI, Jake Paul fought his younger brother, Deji Olatunji. While Logan didn't have great luck, Jake defeated Deji in the fifth round on a technical knockout. Towards the end of 2019, Jake was scheduled to fight another YouTuber, Ensign Gibb. Jake once again won the fight at 2 minutes 18 seconds on a TKO in the very first round. His next match was against a professional basketball player named Nate Robinson. Once again, less than 2 minutes into the match, Jake Paul wins on a knockout. His biggest match yet was in April of 2021 against Ben Askren. Ben Askren is a big dude in the MMA community. He was previously the champion of two different organizations. The president of UFC at the time, Dana White, said that he bet $1 million that Paul loses to Askren. Jake Paul made him eat his words because what actually ended up going down was Askren. Insanely enough, again, Jake Paul took bro to the ground in less than two minutes, first round, which is insane. The problem with any sort of speculation around the Floyd Mayweather fight is that Jake Paul is hungry. We've said what we need to say about Logan and it's likely he's gonna lose, but Jake, is different if his previous matches have anything to say about it. Now, there's been some speculation that the fight between Askren and Jake Paul was rigged for views, and it, it did indeed make tons of money. That being said, there's really no evidence for claiming it was rigged, right? I mean, according to the data that's been released, the event made 1.45 million pay-per-view sales, but tons of people have questioned how legit the match actually was. Twitter fans, MMA fans, promoters, etc. have all said they think the numbers are inflated or that Askren threw the match. Last bit sounds a bit more likely. That's enough of what we think though. I mean, so what do y'all think? Was the match that Jake had with Askren legit or no? Does Logan have any chance in the upcoming fight? <laughs> 
Oh my God, I can't believe that's not even a real question. Who do y'all want to see fight Mayweather more? Let us know how you're feeling about all this in the comments. If you enjoy the content, go ahead and bop that like button and click that subscribe button too. And as always, have a great day. And don't forget, people, keep it rizzled.